In this video, I'm going to give you a sneak preview of the upcoming Procreate 5.3 features. This will be particularly interesting for you if you have one of the new M2 iPads or if you're thinking about updating one of your older iPads to the new iPad. With Procreate 5.3, you will be able to take advantage of the new Apple Pencil hover feature that Apple has released for the new two iPads. It was the major reason why I wanted to have this new iPad. So let's check it out. The first thing we will need to do is turn on pencil hover in the apple pencil settings so we want to turn on show effects when using pencil and then you also want to turn on allow double tap only with pencil hover like this and so now let's check this out in Procreate. Some of the features are already in Procreate 5.2, but now with Procreate 5.3, there is a whole lot of other very exciting features that we want to check out. The first one is that brush cursor preview, and you can turn this on in the menu here like this. And so now you get a little preview of the brush that you're drawing with. There is now also an advanced cursor settings menu item, which gives you the ability to change the brush cursor visibility. You can choose between show while hovering, show while painting or show both. So let's now try and show both so you can see what this looks like. So now you can see the little hover preview and then it also continues to show the brush stroke while you are drawing. I prefer only showing the brush cursor while hovering, so I'm gonna change this back. And then you also have a choice of different brush outline styles. At the moment, I've selected high contrast. And what this means is that the brush cursor preview changes depending on the color that's on your iPad. So now if I go over the dark green here, you can see here that the cursor changes to a light blue so that the cursor is better visible. You can also choose active color and so now the preview changes to the color that I've currently selected and it doesn't change when I hover over different parts of my painting. And then you've also got the option to change this per brush. So let's do this now. And so now what we can do is we can go to our brush and then in the Apple Pencil settings you can now select the same options here on a per brush basis. Now let's paint some brush strokes and I want to show you some other cool features. It's now also possible to change the size of your brush with the hover features. And in order to do that, you can hover over the iPad and then you can pinch zoom to change the size of your brush. And you can change the opacity by dragging up and down on your iPad screen like this. Next up, I wanna show you the new recolor feature. You can turn this on by hovering over either the color swatch here or over your color palette and then double tapping on the Apple Pencil. So you can see here that the color drop has now been turned on. And now this makes it so much easier to recolor your artwork. So let's say we wanted to change one of these colors of the tree. You can now tap on it. And then it will recolor the selected area like this. And this makes it so much easier to quickly recolor your artwork. You can also change the color drop threshold by holding on the Apple Pencil. And then you can move the Apple Pencil to the right to increase the threshold or move it down to decrease the threshold. And I usually like having it around 20%. It gives me quite a nice result. And then to turn color drop off, you can hover over your color palette again and double tap on your Apple Pencil and then it's turned off. So now I wanna show you another application of where this brush cursor preview comes in really handy. And that is if you're using stamp brushes. For example, here I have a snowflake brush and I wanna place some snowflakes on my tree now. So with the pinch zoom gesture, I can dial in the size of my snowflake and then create the stamp like this. And this is now so much faster. So I don't have to go back to my slider here, but I can just pinch zoom and then I can draw the snowflake and I can pretty much do this while I'm painting. And so that's super, super nice. And then just because we can, let's put a little star here at the top as well. And you can see now we can be really precise with this and place our star here. And then if for any reason this wasn't placed properly where you wanted it, there's also a new feature in the freehand selection tool. So we're gonna turn on freehand selection tool. And now what you can do is tap on the screen and then you get a preview of your selection. So if you wanted to move the star, you can now tap around it and you can see exactly what gets selected. So here between the tree and the star, there's not a lot of space. So we can now really precisely select around the star and then we can move it in place, although it's already almost perfect in place anyway. And then there's also some really nice improvements in the menu. The first one is that any of your animations will animate if you hover over the preview image like this. 
and this is super cool. So you can see all your animations, what they look like when they animate. And then another really nice feature is that you can see your time lapse display when you hover your Apple Pencil over your gallery preview image. All these features are going to come out with Procreate 5.3, which will be available before the end of the year. Let me know in the comments which one of these features you're looking forward to the most. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments.